What's up? So today I'm going to be talking about these Widgie lock screen widgets and how you can make one of your own. It's better that you make it on your own because that way it's like a lot more customizable and fits your liking. Obviously there's some apps where you can get like pre-designed ones and that's also cool and since those are pre-designed it's going to take a lot less time but if you're interested in designing your own one um, this is definitely the video for you. I did a little bit of a more in-depth tutorial of Widgie and that, all that information is going to be transferable to this tutorial. So if you want to click this video up here I can tell you a little bit more about that. Um, or if not, you want to hit subscribe, I'm going to do a lot more Widgie tutorials in the future. Uh, I got one coming up next week, which is uh, pretty quick for me at least because I don't post that regularly. But anyway, let's get into the video. So we're going to take a look at my lock screen right here so you can see that uh, this is the one I designed basically for this video. These are going to be uh, pretty easy ones to do just to show you guys the basics, not necessarily to be like really nicely designed. So we're going to click on um, this one right here. And so I'm going to show you the basics of how I created it. So when you're in Widgie, you're going to want to uh, go to the create screen and you're going to see a screen that looks a little bit like this one right here. Um, but if you hit create on here, it's going to ask you to create a new Widgie. And these are actually widgets. So this is not what the page you want to go to because this is a, a mistake I've seen people make. What you want to do is click the lock button on the bottom and then hit create. So once you're there, you can get to create the widget that goes on your locks. So if you swipe down, you can see I have the circular one right here and then I have the uh, rectangular one right here. And the inline one is actually gonna take that full bar. So if you only want a little bit of information, that inline one's gonna be the best. If you wanna put the most information there, I'm gonna say the circle one is the best. But the rectangle one, I feel like is a really good in between between the two. Another thing to keep in mind is color is not something that you really get to pick with your lock screen widgets. So if I go here and then I go to customize, the only way to customize the color is actually through Apple's interface. So if I go here, I can actually change the brightness, but this will actually just change all of the widgets together. This is not, you can't customize a color for a certain widget. Most you can do is make it lighter or darker. So that's another thing to keep in mind when designing is like color is not something you really want to worry about. Um, but let's say that I want to have a widget that tells me my next uh, calendar event going on today. So I can create a new layer, uh, and this is a lot like the other tutorial I was talking about before. But you create a new layer, and then you can just go down and click on the shape. And so this is going to make a little square object, so I can use my fingers and drag and scale it up and down. So I'm going to scale it all the way up. And then we're going to want to go over to this like effects toggle and scroll the edges rounding. I want to round these edges a little bit to make it fit with the OS a little bit more. So you can just hold your button on that plus button and it's going to round those edges for you. Let's say that this is um, too big for me. I want something a little smaller. I can actually go in here and then change the amount of sizes it goes. I apologize if I'm repeating from my other video, but you can change it actually smaller. Um, so like let's say I want it smaller. Right? Okay. Now I want the text on the top to say reminders to tell me what this is. So I meant not reminders, calendar, what am I talking about? I want to say calendar, so I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna to go to text, and then I just wanna go here, and then if you go to the very end and it says data, you can actually customize this text right here. So I want the text to say um, next event, so next event right here, okay. And then we go back, and then I wanna change this color over here to um, black, so I can see it. And you can see that it's actually behind the white object. So what we want to do here in the case like this is we hit edit and then you go all the way up. And by the way, I went back out to the layers page before I hit edit. And so we can click back into it and make it uh, smaller. So let's scale it up to the whole thing and then make this size like a lot smaller. We just want it up in that corner. Uh, again, this is not based off looks. Uh, this is more something just for quick to show you like how to do it. And then I scale this down. And then I could pop it right there. Yeah, this looks a little bad, but we're gonna make another text object. And what uh, a little tip here is like you can duplicate it because you're gonna want the same effects on the second text object. So we duplicate the event and we can drag it down. And then when we go back into this data page, you can click here. And then so there's a ton of different text you can choose from, like date and time. You can have it tell you time. Um, and then you can have it tell you like exchange rates, like everything. They have uh, files, health, literally so much data you can put in here. And you can even program in your own data with a JavaScript. I don't even know how to do it, but you could do it if you wanted to. Um, and then system network, user info, and you can have it say your name, which mine's not in here. Um, you can have the weather, all that kind of stuff. Um, just so you know for like other widget stuff. That's how you're going to really do it is just make a text and then go to data. And so we're going to want the calendar event. So we're going to want to scroll up till we see the 
uh, agenda right here. And then we could do calendar number one. So look who's getting paid. So that's my next event that's gonna come up. So we'll do calendar number one title right here. And then uh, let's say I wanna add another piece of data that says when that event is. So we're gonna do text again. Oh, dude, I didn't even follow my own rule. I'm actually gonna duplicate the, the, the tab again. Um, so we duplicate this tab right here. And then we're gonna wanna make this text um, a little bit smaller. And we're gonna wanna place it off to the left a little bit. Sorry, I'm going a little fast on this, but um, I'm gonna place it off to the left a little bit. And then, so another cool thing here is like, let's say you wanna have, what, what I'm gonna do right now is gonna, I'm gonna have a dash, and then I'm gonna have the, the time until that event, right? So and let's say I wanna add text that's not gonna change. So we can actually add several different data tabs. So like, what I'm gonna to wanna to do right here is just scroll up a new custom text and I add that dash, oops, not the new event. We're gonna do dash and space. And then now you see it has that dash there, dash there and then I can add the data. So then I can go to um, agenda and then I can do calendar one time until. And then let's say I want this text to be a little bit dark, uh, a little bit more gray so we can go back into the color tab. We can actually turn it gray. And if you see these slashes across, that's actually light and dark mode, like the different colors it'll change. So I don't want it to do that because when it's in light mode, it's gonna, uh, I meant when it's in dark mode, it's not gonna change properly because the background doesn't change. So we're just gonna wanna have it on a gray color that does not change. So I can go system here, oops, and do custom color. And then we're gonna do, we're gonna do gray here. Okay, there we go. And then I could scale this um, up so it matches the position. Perfect. So now we have this uh, next event page right here and you can see it called it Bilal for some reason, but it's right there. And then we can go into manage right here. And then this is how you're gonna actually add them to your home screen. So you manage, you go rectangle, just add this event right there. And then when we go out to our home screen, we're gonna wanna hold on our home screen, hit customize and then tap lock screen actually remove this one and we'll go to widgie down here so you want to scroll down to widgie it's always going to be the last one most likely because um, the title starts with a letter and then we get to do right here tech next event title and next event perfect and that's actually how you're going to add it and that's really all you have to do um, it's going to take a second to load actually in there my next event um, for the most part because it's it is data so uh, It'll take a little bit. But anyway, that's basically how you're going to create that widget for your lock screen. And this is a short tutorial. Let me know if you guys want an advanced tutorial. What I kind of do on this channel is I'll release like a small version. And then if you guys like it a lot, I'll release one more advanced tutorial for you guys. <coughs> Let's say you want that more advanced tutorial right now. You're going to want to click on um, this YouTube video right here because I'll show you how to do that more advanced tutorial right there. Or you just hit subscribe. I got a lot of these widget videos. I also do tech videos. And I'm going to be uploading a lot more because I actually have a place to edit now, which is...